This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special bonus feature, an audience of one. And you may have noticed today's a special day. It's Groundhog Day. And so I reached out to all my comedy friends and said, who, yes, who out there has some experience and knowledge of the famous Groundhog and its predictions? Ladies and gentlemen, here's my good friend, Bob Worley. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Wow. Bob, uh, I'm so uh, happy to connect with you on this and to be honest, a little surprised of your expertise. Well, Scott, you know, it's something I've been interested in for at least a week. And uh, (laughs) let me tell you, as you know, Scott, today is Groundhog Day where Puxa County Phil, the famous groundhog from Pennsylvania, will predict the weather. We have six more weeks of winter or an early spring. It's amazing. This guy's a genius. It's incredible. It's it's this this little extra large rodent can forecast the weather. It's it's uh, uh, it's really super amazing. Or the people in Pennsylvania are, are a little thin on top. You know, let me just say, you actually have it right. He is a rodent. He is not a hog. A lot of people confuse him with hogs. He's not a hog. As a matter of fact, they taste nothing like bacon. So, so when people hear Groundhog Day, they're thinking it's in the hog family. That's fascinating. Right, right. A lot of people don't know that. So, yes, it is a rodent. But as you probably don't know, we do not have groundhogs here in California. Nope. We have woodchuck, where, which are our close cousins to the groundhog. A lot of people don't know that. I didn't know so that. Actually, yes, yes. We have a, no, there's no groundhogs on the West Coast, only woodchuck. All and right. I don't know if they can put or not. How much but wood although, could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could cut wood? <laughs> that, that's very good. We should actually make a poem out of that. Hey, uh, actually, you know, I'm driving up right now. I'm going up to the foothills of uh, Pasadena up in the San Gabriel's where there's a, a woodchuck that I know of. They're very rare in this area, but this guy is sort of a local celebrity. Every year at this time of year, kids gather around the school, local schools and the local news guys, and they wait to see if Woody the woodchuck will pop out and see his uh, shadow. So we're on our way out there to see if that's going to happen. Wow. Yeah, we're going to be filming this as we go up there. That's pretty excited about this. That's fascinating. Woody the Woodchuck will be predicting the weather just like Poxitani Phil. Okay, that's awesome. Right, yeah. So we're going to be, we're driving along now. We're almost there to his little burl, what they call it. His hole in the ground is a burl. So uh, that's something I didn't know. But anyways, we're almost there. We're cruising around. I think he's right around here somewhere. So we're just driving along. Look out! Look out! Oh, geez, what was that? Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, Scott. Wow, I hope everything's okay. Oh, no. Scott, I can tell you with absolute certainty that Woody the Woodchuck did not see his shadow. <laughs> so it looks like, looks like we're in for early spring here in California. Wait a minute! Uh, it sounded like you hit something. Is is? It wasn't Woody. No, no, no! It wasn't Woody at all. He said, help, help me get the get the ticket. He said, help me get him in the hole. Just help me push him in the hole. No, no, no! Look, look, he's not dead. I think he's just dead. Just help me get him in the hole. Come on! <laughs> no, no, he's just staying. Come on, let me get in. <laughs> uh, anyway, Scott, uh, we gotta go. We want to get a we want to be sure to get a good spot. But when this little fella pops his head out. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, take well, care and we'll see you next time, all right? Well, uh, I, I, I'm so glad that you and Lee Sand get a chance to see Woody, but uh, uh, things <laughs> didn't sound like it went well. No, no, no. It went according to plan. It always goes according to plan. You know me. <laughs> Lee Sand, is, is everything okay? Woody. <laughs> hey, uh, Scott, I, I, I got to get back home, all right? Like I said, before people show up. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Bob Worley and his lovely daughter, Lisanne, sharing their experience of Woody the Woodchuck in Southern California and his prediction of future weather events. I, I, I It sounds a little... 
I'm not really sure what happened, but we'll we'll look forward to uh, uh, Bob following up maybe and telling us uh, the weather. Well, he didn't see a shadow, so wow, th- this is really uh, big information. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining us on our special Groundhog Day bonus show, and keep an eye out for Woody the Woodchuck. Thanks for listening. See you Sunday for another great show. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. For information on the show, merchandise, and our sponsors, or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand-up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you.